I want to share a story of a mother who came to Christ through her son. Her name is Azita, and she writes, My older son came to faith in Jesus by Pastor Hormoz through your satellite channel. I stood against him and his faith, because for years I had been a religious Muslim. I couldn't believe that a man like Jesus could be God, and I thought it was blasphemy. My son and I were always arguing, and sometimes we didn't speak with each other for a while. Until one day, my son came to me and said, just for one time, please read the Bible. Since I wanted to prove that he is wrong and also to stop those arguments, I started reading the Bible. In the Bible, I could see many things that were similar to my personal beliefs. But when it came to the verses that pointed Jesus Christ is God, it was hard for me to understand. But something in my heart was telling me this is true. Suddenly, tears started falling on my cheeks. Then I remembered that Jesus said, unless you become like children, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So I prayed, Lord, I want to come to you and your presence just like a child. Please show me the truth. At that moment, I felt some chains breaking off in my heart. I could hear the sound of them breaking with my own ears. I remember exactly six times I heard that sound. I started reading the Bible again. This time I felt all the words were speaking to me personally, and I could understand them totally. In that moment, I came to believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. I found that I had been wrong all these years and that my son had found the truth. Now my heart rejoices because God valued me and he has written my name in his book of life. What a story. A couple things here really attracts my attention. One is that when she was reading the Bible, she said, this, this is, resonates with my heart. And I've heard this so many times. God has done something special in the hearts of Iranian Muslims. They have rejected Islam and they read the Bible and says, this is what I believe. This, this resonates. I love this. I believe this. God has done his part convincing Iranian Muslims, but they have to hear the gospel. Another thing was most Muslims are struggling. Or number one struggle Muslims have is, is Jesus really God? That's blasphemy. But as you see, God himself showed her. Yes, this is true. Something in her heart told her this is true. And she came to Christ like a child. There are millions like Azita. There are millions who have rejected Islam. And when they hear the gospel, they say, this is what I believe. This resonates with my heart. What's our part? Share the gospel. If they hear it, they believe it. I want to thank all of you who are standing by us, who are praying for us, who are contributing to this ministry, and I want to invite the rest of you, would you consider joining us? Would you go online and make a one-time gift? And even better, would you become a monthly partner? I depend on you. I trust God, but I depend on your contributions. It's together that we can do this ministry. God bless you.